Well, it's a busy weekend for NASCAR at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Truck teams competing for the first time since the season opener at Daytona will have practice and qualifying ahead of tonight's race. And this gentleman has made waves in the world of racing. Talking about driver and team owner B.J. McLeod joining us live from Las Vegas. B.J., good morning. Morning, guys. Thanks for having me on. It's great to have you. So you're not only the driver of the number 78 Chevy, you're also a team owner. Which part of the game do you enjoy more? I'd say that's an easy answer, driving. Um, I don't think there's a lot of business and uh, work that goes into that. There's a lot of work that goes into driving, but, um, you know, I started racing uh, before I can remember, literally. My parents uh, started me at two and a half years old on a gas-powered four-wheeler. So what? I, uh, I, yeah, it's crazy. I, I definitely <laughs> say driving's my passion, man. So you were driving before you were walking almost. That's crazy. I was. Yeah, they had to set me on it. That's no, uh, that's no joke. Like, that's uh, literally how it went. So I've been doing it ever since. Okay, uh, maybe a dumb question. You drive a Chevy Camaro ZL1. So for those of us who aren't familiar, how is your car different than what we test drive at the dealership, for example? Well, the first thing is a roll cage, right? We have a very, very stiff chassis that protects us if uh, we get in you know, accidents, which happens quite regularly, I guess. Um, uh, we have a wider tire on the front. We have a wider tire on the back than the street car. Um, they actually have similar wheels. I believe the street cars are 19s and 20s. We have uh, 18s, so some similarities there. But, you know, horsepower-wise, the ZL1 uh, Camaros, I believe it's 600 horse off the showroom floor, and we're operating at 670 rear wheel. So, you know, we're probably about 200 horsepower more um, than, this thing <laughs> at, than the street uh, ZL1 right, right off the bat. And then, uh, obviously, we have upgraded drivetrain, transmission, different things like that. What's the fastest you You've gone on the straightaway. Um, so at Daytona and Talladega, they're your two fastest tracks once you're in the draft, and we can average over 200 at those places if we get uh, we get the right amount of cars together. So I'd say your top speed's probably around 205, 207, somewhere in that area. Used to um, we would hit speeds of 210 to 214, like at Michigan and California. But you know, to make the racing better and get us to tighter packs and different things, they've cut back a little bit of horsepower over the years, and um, you know, it's it's changed the straightaway speed a couple mile an hour. Yeah. I guess Get that okay so if you're in a, in a 500 for example and you have to go to the bathroom i mean it's not like when you when you when we when we're going on a roadie we say oh let, let's take a pit stop when you make a pit stop you don't have time to do that so so how does that work <laughs> So there's actually a lot of prep that goes into that. Um, you know, you you have to be extremely hydrated to run these races. I've lost up to 17 pounds over one weekend Whoa. in one race at um, and in a summer race. So you have to change the way you prep for temperature of the weekend you're racing. So like a colder weekend, like the Daytona 500, because it's in February, I drink my normal gallon of water a day to gallon and a half of water a day all week long. And then the morning of, I hydrate about half a gallon. Um, right when I wake up before I eat and then the rest of the day at least five hours before the race starts I'm just satisfying my mouth with a little bit just a sip of water here and there to make sure that I don't feel like I'm dehydrated but um, you have to make sure you back off because if you don't you'll have to go to the bathroom by lap 10 yeah, that's imagine. not a good situation <laughs> yeah BJ <laughs> McLeod a pleasure talking with you congratulations to you and your team and best of luck this weekend thank you appreciate you all right good stuff so Las Vegas Getting the trucks going tonight.